Hey everybody, welcome back and today I'm going to be addressing a question one of you guys had and that is how do you get your soil ready uh, before you even start your seedling. So um, that actually is a really important uh, question um, and the reason why is because when you start off with this potting mix and this is just a regular potting mix, there's no fertilizer in this, I get this, um, this is an organic potting mix. Um, MP plus I think it's called um, that we get from um, from Nolts and even though it's a little bit damp I mean it's still really dry you can see if I try to squish it I mean it's just you know super dry One of the things that I do before I even start getting all this stuff into my seed trays is get the soil in here first, I mean soil, water, and I'm using some water that we had sitting in the greenhouse, so it's at a warm temperature, and I like using warm water because you don't want your seedlings being in cold water right off the bat because the, the, the biggest thing they need to germinate is warmth and when I'm talking warm you know we talked about the grill room and how we had it set up at around 90 degrees um, Fahrenheit and that's important because you want to make sure that your seeds are nice and toasty warm all right so as you can see I'm trying to mix everything and I try to get all the corners in we're starting to get there And like I said, I try to get all the edges mixed in. And the way I test is I just do the squeeze test, okay? If I can squeeze it and it's starting to come together, it's getting there, but we're not there yet, okay? So again, we're gonna keep adding water. Just like that. All right, guys, so I think we're good enough. Soil is starting to bind now a little bit better. So I think that's close enough. See, it's sticking. Where before it was just when you squeezed it, it would just fall right apart. All right, see, it's forming. So now we're going to go ahead and move to the next stage, and I'm just going to fill a, uh, a 50 seed tray so you can see what I do. All right, so now that we got the seeds, I mean not the seeds, the soil all ready to go, we're going to just go ahead and just put it in one of these 50s. And be careful when you're doing this if you're wearing jewelry. I try not to wear jewelry when I'm on the farm. I've learned it too many times. You got to be careful because, for me anyway, uh, I've lost my <laughs> wedding pan a couple of times. So, once I, you got all the holes filled in, and some of these you can tell are a little low, you can just tell it's right there, and I just try to apply just a little bit of pressure, not a whole lot, especially mainly on the corners and the, and the ends, just to make sure. And I wipe it down. Okay, and then from here, you're pretty much ready to go. Uh, everybody has a different technique. Um, I like to put another 50 on top of this, slightly press it down so you're going down maybe a quarter of an inch, and then all the um, um, the spots are set up for your for your seedlings. Um, and this is normally what I do for like tomatoes and peppers and things like that. When it comes to lettuce. Um, I probably don't go quite as deep because you know the seeds are way smaller. So that and you use 98s. Yeah, uh, but it's the same process with the 98s as with the 50s uh, in terms of the soil and in terms of putting your 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 um, potty mix in here and getting it ready. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, there you go. The biggest thing is 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 make sure that you're starting off with um, with some wet, damp soil because if you don't, you're going to be 
spraying forever um, with the with the uh, with the spray. And remember that you don't have to worry about watering the bottom so much because the seeds are only on top, so they're they're not going to have any roots. So all your water mainly in the beginning of your spraying, like I said before. And if and if you want to see how I water, watch the video I did last week. Um, and I go more in detail about how I do my watering, whether I'm doing spraying or when I'm doing the dipping station. Uh, different stations uh, or different phases of your growing will require different types of watering. So in the beginning of your seedlings, all your, seed, all your seeds are really on the top. So you want to make sure that top is always wet, always warm, um, and getting some, some light either from you know the sun or whether you're growing in the little grow room with your lights. So, uh, let me see, is there anything else I didn't cover? Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Just make sure your stuff is wet, warm. Um, keep it warm. You know, don't let those temperatures drop down below 80. Um, I'm even noticing a slight difference between um, 95 and, and, and... I mean 85. Or 85 and 90 degrees in terms of the, the germination popping rate. Um, but uh, that's just... That's just me. Anyway, so that's pretty much it, guys. So this is um, a little quick how to do for you. And uh, hopefully, um, you know, this answers some questions. And um, I'll be posting some more videos and some more follow-ups follow on everything that we're growing. Hopefully, I'll be planting in the high tunnel next week, depending on if the weather is, um, is good enough. So we'll have to see. Um, I want to make sure that um, Whatever I plant in the high tunnel is going to die overnight. So, all right, guys, that's it. I'm out of here. I got some work to do. Peace out. I'll see you next time.